Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Back in December 2012, my husband and I traveled from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia to celebrate our fifth wedding anniversary. It was a bucket list trip for both of us, and we spent three wonderful weeks exploring Australia in the weeks leading up to Christmas. This year, in 2023, I decided to compile our photos and videos to relive the experience and share it with you. Be sure to check out my Australia playlist to see all of the videos. Today I'm telling you about our final full day in Arley Beach. We decided we needed to use up a lot of our leftover food, so we had that for breakfast. For example, toast with Nutella and raspberry jam and scrambled eggs. We sat out on our patio and enjoyed the view. Then we did a tour. We went to the Serena Sugar Shed and learned how sugar is made. We rented a car just for the day so that we could do a day trip to the Serena Sugar Shed. It was very hot outside, but it was worth it and it was really cool to learn about sugar. We even got to drink some of the sugar juice, which is basically drinking sugar. <laughs> Obviously, it was really good. I have a few videos of that that I'm going to show you right now. So the cane's made up of 70% water, 15% fiber, and 15% sugar. So really round figures, guys. So in the crush, average between 14 to 16% sugar content, can get as high as 18%. Um, Plain Creek Mills are renowned for having really high sugar content. Has to be at least 11% of what's feasible for the mill to actually crush it. Okay, so we'll pop this through. See if we can get some juice here and taste So if you want to take a photo of this when the juice comes out, it's not a bad photo opportunity. Oh. Well, that picture has <laughs> Okay, so inside here, white fibre that you can see. Doing this flipping or something there? No, good. Um, you can pull that white fibre out and you can have a little chew on the fibre, okay? And I'll also give you a drink of the juice. I grew up chewing on this stuff, except it was burnt when I was growing up, so it was all caramelised. So lots of water and what you're tasting there, okay? Very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't try it in about September then. What they do with the bagasse is, is they send it back into the mill to fire their boilers. So this runs the mill, it runs that distillery, anything left over goes in the power grid and the power company pays them for it. We got to see the process that sugar cane goes through, which was really, really cool. We got to taste the raw sugar water and sugar cane, as well as products made from it like rum, schnapps, and fairy floss, which is cotton candy. We also tasted molasses and realized that Vegemite actually tastes a lot like molasses. We're not a fan of either. On the way back, we went through a KFC drive through for lunch. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Once again, an American thing, but we just had to see what it's like in Australia. We tried the double, which is two fried chicken patties instead of a bun, with bacon, which in Australia is Canadian bacon, and cheese between them. It was really cool. It was also fun to drive around and leave Arley Beach and see the countryside. We saw a lot of cattle. We also saw a lot of sugar fields. We got back to Arley Beach around five. We ended the night by going to a place called Mama's Boys for dinner, where we ordered pizza and listened to live music by the singer Patch. We also tried Bundaberg Dark and Stormy. It wasn't our favorite, but when in Australia. Final thoughts on Arley Beach. I want to go back. Like seriously, this was my favorite place in Australia as far as how gorgeous it was. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell for upcoming videos because even though we may be saying goodbye to Arley Beach, we are not done with Australia yet. We have one more stop. We are headed to Brisbane.